So in this view of Christianity, is it better to be a sinner with faith or a saint without? So you're a person who fulfills as many, you're, you're a good person, you, you fulfill all 10 commandments better than most people, but you don't believe in Jesus. What, what, what does that mean in, in the Christian faith? The Christian faith is that salvation is only through Jesus. Now, when you say better, I think there's a lot better acting people that aren't Christians, a lot of non-Christians who are better acting than I am. So I'm not not making that. And I don't, I don't like this judgmental stuff that, that, that some Christians have. And one of the things that turned me off originally, the, the scold aspect. But the theory is that when you accept Christ and you're converted, you're justified. And that uh, upon that moment, you're, you're freed from the penalty of sin. Uh, so for salvation purposes, when God looks at you, he doesn't see you. He sees Christ's sinlessness. He can't see you. Spurgeon, one of the great British pastors, wrote about this. Uh, God can't help but when he looks upon you and you've accepted Christ, all he can see is his son. That's for salvation purposes. But also something happens when you accept Christ, and that is uh, you're also freed from the power of sin, meaning the Holy Spirit begins to indwell you and empowers you to combat sin on a daily basis. Doesn't mean that you will ever overcome sin as a practical matter, but you will become holier. You'll become more Christ-like, more sanctified uh, at the more you avail yourself of the Holy Spirit. And so you will become uh, a better person in that sense, in an active sense, but you'll never be sin-free this, this side of eternity.